how significant is 11 as a line in the sand for investors, do you think? Well, it's, it's, uh, it's not pretty to see, but uh, as long as we're not at the level where we were in, in the fourth quarter of 2016, when uh, there were, that was really a lot, of, a lot of concerns about the bank and about what the way forwards and whether they could be a viable bank uh, among some investors, um, that's, that's kind of the fundamental psychological level. Ten, obviously, is the area you really don't want to go close to because uh, it's just, it, that's another psychological level. And if you cross that, then it doesn't look pretty. Um, JP Morgan pointing out that the fact, pointing out that that maybe DBK should should pull back from the United States. John Cryan's taken responsibility for a lot for a lot of that U.S. operations. How big a blow personally is it for him that this U.S. operation is not performing and and in JP Morgan's view should be should be scaled back? It's, it's a big blow. I mean, actually, very early on, one of the first investor conferences, uh, he was asked by an analyst, uh, so, I mean, the growth potentials, potentials in Asia, right? He said, no, 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 the U.S. is such an important market for us. And he really went a, spent a long time praising the U.S. And, and saying how important it was for Deutsche Bank. So if the bank was to follow J.P. Morgan's advice, uh, the analysts from J.P. Morgan, and to, uh, <clears throat> to scale back their equities business and their corporate clients business in the United States, that would be a, a big blow because it's also the identity well, of the bank, too. The whole idea was that they had expanded to become a, a global bank. And that's really walking away right. from that aspiration. 